Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the final round of the Oman International Drift Championship. My name is Mike Lee. Okay, back to the line, and it is Fui Shran, represent Malaysia. And this BMW coming down, and them red flashlights in the front look so cool as we see Fu throwing it in. Very brave, not touching the handbrake at all. In a nice line here through one, two, as we see him. Just has to stomp on the front brakes to stop going on the inside there in three. Big handbrake drag, putting him a little bit too early in the four. Dabs the handbrake again, sells the car, salvages as much as he can as we see him now transitioning back. Through five, on the way to six. No, just putting one, possibly two wheels off there just after six as he transitions for the second last time out to touch and go at seven and flicks back for the wall. Yeah, just very, very shallow here as he comes around the last He time. has a nervous one ahead of him, but if there's anyone that can do it, it's Clint. I'm sure his team were prepping him mentally there for this one. And let's see what Clint can do to get a score on the board and get himself safe in the battle action tomorrow. Lovely first half so far as we see that S14 absolutely on a beautiful lead line. Look at that. Front wheel right on the white line. Exactly as judges wanted. Maybe a little bit too shallow for zone 4. Has to dab the handbrake a second time to try and get the car back in, which he does as he flicks back now. Gets zone 5. Lovely as Clint. Now this is the part that he over-rotated. Can he hold it again? Yes, he can. As he comes through 6, flicks back for the second last time out to 7. Will Clint get the wall? Yes, he does, but in the back of that, S14 out to the wall, into zone 8. This is a fast run from the Dutch driver, but will it be enough to get him Weapon. into the speed he was carrying here today? He couldn't even keep it on fire. Or, my apologies, he couldn't even keep it on throttle because he literally was just, he's on fire all day. Like, absolutely beautiful lines. So let's see what Timmer can do in his first qualifying run here. And this is a great start to run now. Doing exactly as the judges asked, ticking all the boxes. A little bit of a handbrake jag. Bit too early, kind of gets him a more bit shallow, but he does a good job to keep that back wheel for the second half of zone four. As you see Timur flick back now for five. Not a bad run from the Ukrainian driver as we see him transitioning out for touch and go. Clip seven, line up for the last flick out to the wall, nearly tagging the back of that BMW along the wall as he fills that outer zone eight. Lovely, I'm bringing it over the line. That's not way to score at the end, but we head back to the line and it is Hussein Misselani representing Lebanon he is currently sitting in 24th position so he's in he's safe in battle action tomorrow but he definitely wants to get higher up to hear the V8 screaming at that E46 where well, Hussein put an absolute foot to floor as he passed in our, our commentary tower here at this moment lovely wide line all the way right on our line to zone 4 as he transitions back nice wide line to 5 this is a brilliant run so far from Hussein as he can he save it there maybe it's come off power a small bit just to keep it in between the white lines does a good job though as he transitions now for the last time can he get out to the wall yes he can this is an absolute brilliant run from Hussein I think he maybe might just push himself higher up that order you know get away He's from Dennis Miguel in that E46 BMW, he is currently sitting in 12th position, so he's comfortably into the battles tomorrow, so I'm sure he's just going to try to do something a little bit wilder to see if he can get himself higher up that battle bracket. As we see Dennis now doing a lovely job through 1, 2 and 3, as we see very little handbraking and he's on a lovely wide line through zone 4. Can he keep the wheels in between the white line? Yes he can as he transitions, very snappy fast transition back for zone 5. As we see Dennis putting the foot down, getting through six as he transitions for the second last time into the touch and go at seven. Small bit early coming into seven. Will that affect him coming into eight? No, it doesn't. He gets lovely and wide into that zone as he comes around the final corner and over the line. It's not a bad run. The judges will reward him, but we move back to the start line representing the USA. It is Nicholas Solomon throwing it in. Nicholas is looking so comfortable this morning in practice. We had a good chat. He says he doesn't think there's anything that can stop him, so I really hope me saying this doesn't jinx him now. As we hear that BMW screaming, and look at this for a run by Nicholas Solomon. Possibly dropping one wheel there, but he gets the back of the BMW out to the wall, keeping a pin. This is a very fast run from Nicholas Solomon. As we see him now doing whatever he can, coming through clip six, flicks back for the second last time on that transition, touching go at seven, onto the last transition at eight. Nice wide line yet again from Nick Solomon. Doing a lovely run and bringing it over the line. Another driver from Oman. It is Ali Al Bushali. In this crazy 180SX. Listen to the V8 scream as he tears down the straight. Ali was doing brilliant runs all morning in practice. He was one that actually caught my attention straight away. So 
yet again look at this from Ali one two and three doing a good job dragging the handbrake to get out to four and he just puts him a bit in the inside we see him stomping on the front brakes to try and bring that 180 back out to the wide part of the zone transitioning lovely for five so we see him now putting foot to floor oh and huge angle through six I actually thought he was going to over rotate gets it back for seven a big stall up he was on massive angle there but he does keep that car sideways and he keeps it moving forward so we see him there now struggling to keep it in zone eight and bring it over the line so such a nice guy mr swapo man helps all the drivers out during this championship because the shop's only like 20 minutes away but let's see what refat can do he is currently sitting in 15th position i know he wants to get higher up that order and with a start of run like this maybe refat could just do that looking lovely so far as he pushes through <laughs> Run clips one, two, and three. Big drag though, and just ended up a little bit too shallow at zone four. As we hear the pops and bangs of that one ADSX as he transitions out wide now for zone five. And nice line refats on here now. We see him coming through, transition for the second last time, lining up for that touch and go. Zone seven, maybe a small bit early. He's going to have to transition early. Will he get out to the wall? He doesn't get that deep in the wall, but he is deep in the zone eight as he puts foot to floor, smoking the last corner out from the UK. We see Bagsy leaving the line. Listen to the screams of this V8 as he tears down the straight in his PS13. Bagsy thrown in lovely, absolute perfect through clip one. So he puts the foot to the floor on the front brakes there, trying to keep that car settled, doing a good job to keep the inside wheel. Off that inner clip, Bagsy now out wide for zone four. This is not a bad run from the UK man as he flicks back out wide, carrying huge angle, hugging that outer line. I think our judges are going to like this one now as he comes through clip six, flicks it back for seven. Bagsy's on a beautiful lead line here now. We see him, oh, so wide. Out on the white line all the way around eight and over the line. That is, it is looking pin, like just perfect every time. So let's see what Tarouk can do. He's currently sitting in 14th position. He is safe in that battle action tomorrow. So he is just going to throw it in hard and see can he push himself higher up that bracket. As we see him now coming lovely through one and two. Look at the speed of Tarouk as he comes in now into the D-cell zone. Lining up for zone four. Bit of a handbrake drag there on a nice wide line is Tarouk. Using all the angle in that 180SX steering kit to throw him around zone four as he flicks back wide through zone five. This is a very nice run from Tarouk as we see him now put a foot to floor transitions for the second last time wide out to seven. Will he flick back one more transition? Not out to the wall, but he is in zone eight as he puts the foot down. Listen to the screams of this 180SX as Tarouk Al Shahani. It's just a weapon of the York. Sammy is such a nice guy, he is like, he's just absolutely loving being here. So what can he do in the second run as he throws it in? Very nice initiation. So we see him now midline nearly perfectly too, getting out to clip two, keeping the foot in, just stomping on the front brakes ever so slightly to keep them front wheels off. This is not bad. Bit of a handbrake drag, he's in zone four, but nearly brings that E36 to a stop. Does a good job there through zone four. So we see him now transition back, lovely and wide through five. Samir doing whatever he can to try and get as many points on this second qualifying run and just throw himself ever so high, higher up that bracket as I see a lovely zone I can hear the judges in my ear they like that the start line it is Ahmed Alarmi represent no man in this crazy VAS15 as we hear him coming down throwing it in there nice and wide true clip one Lovely job for this first section midline. Just the judges ask, getting out, tagging two, keeping all wheels on the track. Lovely true three. This is not a bad run at all. For, oh, from Lamry as he has to drag the handbrake to try and make that car settle out wide. For the second half of zone four, he hugs that outer wide line. Lovely transition back. Yeah, this is not a bad run at all for Ahmed as we see him flicking around for the second last transition into touch and go at seven lines up. Transitions back for the wall. Nice and wide through zone 8 as he brings it around the last corner and over the line. That's not a bad run for Ahmed Alamri. Many points as possible. He sees Cherba's up there. Him, Cherba and a few others are all in contention for that um, championship win this year. It's going to be an interesting one to see how Nazir does it. Look how fast this 350 is. Our live stream cameras can barely keep up with him. He's moving that fast as we see Nazir now coming in. Handbrake drag not too wide at the start of zone 4, but he does get it deep towards the end of it. So we see him now coming up, flicking back with that 350Z. 
doing a nice job. Look at that, hugging that outer line. Absolutely lovely as he transitions for the second last time, getting his own seven, flicking it out for the wall, out wide for zone eight. Can he hold it in there all the way around? Yes, he can. As here, a well experienced driver and that. Strobe lights flash, knick-knack gets the signal, and away he goes. So you see the young man from Lafayette coming out, throwing it in nice and wide, nice and fast. So we see knick-knack now, on the foot down, lovely for a one, two, and three. This is a great run so far. As we see him now, absolutely hugging that outer line, coming through zone four, filling that zone completely, and a snappy, fast transition from knick-knack. That was absolutely beautiful to watch. It will be interesting to see what he can do here now as he flicks back for the second last time. Tagging Cliff 7 perfectly. Will he get out to the wall? Not as deep on the wall, but he is in zone 8. Smoking the last corner out of it and bring it. But we move on to another international driver and is Eggers from Latvia in his Eurofire BMW throwing it in. So we see Eggers doing anything he can to keep on that qualifying line doing a nice job maybe just dropping one wheel there as he works his way up to zone four but no big long handbrake drag so even he dropped the wild line i'd say our judges will like that one he only dropped one wheel but he transitions back lovely for zone five getting out so wide hugging that outer line this is not a bad run from eggers as he transitions for the second last time getting into zone seven lines himself up for the transition out to the wall yes he does on the white line all the way through zone eight this is a nice second half run from eggers and he is going to be the judges one so let's see can he tone it back a small bit and get himself up into that number one position and qualify and get a few more championship points under his belt and look at this flick from vasily Auskas. definitely caught everyone's attention including mine as we see him now on a nice line coming through one two and three working his way up big handbrake drag keeping it wide all the way to four not sure there now. Oh, out to the wall. Oh, oh, how did he not make contact as he flicks back now into zone five? This is where he dropped wheels the last time, and he is not going to make the same mistake again. And see Vasilyowskis now flicks back one more time. I'm sorry, my apologies. Second last time, and now he flicks back one more time. Not as deep onto the wall as I would like to see. I have seen him do wilder wall runs this weekend, but he brings it over the line, gives us a little 360, the fine, and then in practice on the next day for battles. He just had more mechanical failures, but this car is back and it is looking stronger than ever. As we see Hyam, a well capable driver, throwing it in. Lovely for zone one. As he puts the foot down now, listen to the pops and bangs from that S15. He does a great job. Big handbrake drag though, just trying to get that car settled for four. Maybe transition a small bit early. You see him putting the foot down now, getting it back. Gets it out, lovely and wide for zone five. Not a bad run, but we definitely have seen better runs from Hydem in the past. As we see him now transition for the second last time, getting out to zone seven. As he flicks it back, lovely out to the wall, nice and wide. Can he hug that white line? Yes, he can. Of course he can. As he brings that S15 out and over the line. That's not a bad what a run. But the man that has the target on his back, it is Ali McSeed representing Kuwait. He is leading the championship and he wants to be the first Middle Eastern champion in Oman. Ali is driving like a man possessed so far today. I was talking to him earlier on and he said like there's going to be hard to beat this man. Put it that way as we see Ali on a beautiful lead line basically saying anything that Cherba can do, I can do as well. As we see him now transitioning back. Small bit shallow there, 2 5, but I'm nitpicking from this man as we see him carrying huge angle on that GT86. Bring it around for the last transition out wide to the wall, filling zone 8 as he brings it over the line. That was a really fun oh, man international drift championship. Okay, back to the line. It's my man, Mr. Pops and Bangs, Ahmed Daham from Jordan. And look at this, Daham is coming down fast throwing it in he wants that top spot as we see him now coming all the way again lovely out through zone two putting that inside wheel perfectly out white line to zone three as we see him hugging the outer line of four this is a very strong run from the ham as he's on the wall flicks back again out wide for five definitely if i was judging this one i'd be liking this can the ham now just hold on to it for the second half of his run as he comes through that touch and go a clip seven flicks back for the wall rubbing the back of that car out to the wall absolutely beautiful from Ahmed to ham 
as he brings in favour to possibly win it. So yeah, very unfortunate. So we're going to have to move on to second in the championship. Representing Lithuania, it is Benedictus Cherba in another Euro fighter and Cherba, all I can say, is fast this weekend. As we see Cherba now absolutely on a perfect line. He was picking the judges' brain so much in qualifying today, trying to figure out what he could do to get the maximum points, and it looks like it has worked. I don't think he's put a foot wrong yet so far as he is hugging the outer line absolutely everywhere he goes. This is a brilliant run from the Lithuanian driver as he flicks back for the second last time through clip seven, lining up for the wall run, bringing that Eurofighter so wide out to the wall. I'm sorry, it's a Cherba fighter. That's what he informed me the other day when we were out in the quads as he brings it over the line. That was a good 